the Woodbury Public Library now, then, then and ask again, them where their money is. Then again, that money was given from Colin Schmidt to the Woodbury Public Library. We have no control over it now because they own the building. They have that money. Where is their name? Where is their account? Where is the EIN number? What is their mailing address? Do you know it? I don't know it. I'll have to FOIL it. And if I do FOIL it, if I go to the Library Board of Trustees, I'm going to be told it's none of your business because we're not a town entity. Well, that's the thing. They're that's the, it. foiling the town of Woodbury for the individual entity, Woodbury Public Library. You'd have to foil the Woodbury Public Library as right. an individual entity. Well, I don't know where to send it to because they don't have an address. If I asked you, you wouldn't be able to tell me. If you, this forward, is the, if you submitted lumber. a foil to me, I would forward it to the library director. Yeah. And then I'm going to be told we're not a town entity. I don't, you know, we don't have to answer your questions. I've been there because I had an email that I requested. Total black page. Yeah. Three pages totally blacked out because emails were going back and forth about me, a comment I made a couple months ago, and I asked for that email. Totally blacked out. So there's things going on here, and I don't want to argue with anyone else with the board about the library, but as a taxpayer, I'm tired of supporting a building because I will not go there to decorate that building any longer with my committee members because it's not a town building. I'm sorry, that's the way I am because I am not going to get hurt down there. Okay, so I would just like to say too that, um, you know, this is why I'm excited that we're going to have this work session with the library the next meeting and try to discuss these things and figure out what we're doing. Um, I will say that, you know, this building was donated by the Cornell family and they were, it was donated to be a library for the town of Woodbury. My children like going there, so when I hear people say empty out the library, and take people out of it, it kind of doesn't sit right with me because it was donated by a family for this purpose for Woodbury. So we're all gonna sit down and we're gonna try to figure out together how we can work together as a library, as a community, and figure out what we're gonna do with the library. And I think that's the most positive way to go about this instead of saying, remove the books from the, from the building, so, you know. And uh, again, you know, we are all a community decorating things for Christmas and holidays and other things. and. We shouldn't say because it's not, you know, a town building or ran by the town that maybe we shouldn't do those things. We should just be looking outside the box to continue to work together. So. I'm sorry I'm out of order, but all these people in this room, myself and all of you, who pay taxes to the town of Woodbury, some of those tax dollars go to the beautification budget line item for the town of Woodbury properties. I'm not taking that money out of my budget to do a non-Woodbury property that's owned by the town. I'm sorry, I can't do it. Because my responsibility is to these people who pay their taxes to take care and maintain town of Woodbury properties. I'm not going to go on someone else's property because I'm not allowed to. I right, can't, I'm not covered. All right, let me, let, let's just move on with that right now. Thank you everybody for your comments. Um, we are, we're, I just want to mention that we have our county legislature, Ms. Lori Tattel, here tonight. And um, it's great to see you. I know that it's been a busy night. I don't know if you'd like to step up and say hello to everybody. Come on, come on up. Good evening, everybody. It's good to see everybody uh, in person. Uh, like the newer space here. Yeah. A little more open. Um, you uh, are aware we have the subcommittee for the sewer district that is still ongoing. We're close to wrapping up our portion of the work and going to be able to turn it over to physical services for the various uh, parts of what's going to happen at the sewer plant. As soon as we have the solid, small scale down version, because right now the book is literally about two inches thick, I would like to. Um, like to bring a copy here for you and for the village board also as people who are in the sewer district um, i'm going to remind everybody especially as we're you know going back into the winter season more people are going to be spending time at home just because the wipe says it's flushable it's not and it's <laughs> they're not they're just not and i know it's been a problem um at the county uh plant it's been a problem in other municipalities that I represent, and it's um, just don't. But the um, 
we're getting ready to go into our budget season and uh, we're going to have a hearing on October 20th in regards to the tax levies for the sewer district, which I know impacts this community as well as the other communities in the sewer district. So that'll be October 20th. Uh, the notice will go out in the paper. We just approved it today at the legislative session that we had earlier. Um, also, please keep in mind there were um, several um, resolutions that we passed. One of them um, that we passed today was uh, making October not just Breast Cancer Awareness Month. So please, men and women, get your exams, check it out. The best way you can defend yourself and your loved ones is early detection. That's the key. I've got mine scheduled for the 15th. Um, the other one that is serious is October is also Domestic Violence Awareness Month. And the numbers in this county alone are staggering. From my own small community in the town of Highlands, on the list of names that I read today, three of them came from my community. From my small little 5,000, if we're lucky, residents. So if you see something, say something. Know the warning signs. Talk to your friends if you see them in a situation. There's help out there. Um, we have many wonderful volunteers, skilled workers, laborers who, who will be able to help them develop a safety plan and get out of a situation that is dangerous, not just for them, but if they have children, especially for the children. So please keep those, those thoughts in mind. Thank you. Thank you, Lori. It's good to see you. Do you have any questions for me? No, thank you very much. When, when is the county going to do something about the sewer plant? I mean, um, uh, well, we're in the stages now where we've done the seeker, we're in seeker. So, and we're looking at applying for the different various grants. The next meeting, um, normally it's the third Wednesday of the month at uh, 1.30 in the afternoon. But this, this month is budget, so it's gonna be the third Friday of the month at 12.30 in the afternoon. Um, if you want the date, I can get that to you. They also are recorded. Um, all the minutes are there online of what we're doing. But it, it's, it's, as you know, when it comes to something especially that has so many layers of oversights on it, you have to go from one stage to the next to the next before you can do the implementation. Yeah. I think we're hoping for the implementation to start in late 2023, maybe 2024. Okay. But I don't have a solid date on that yet okay. because it's, it's got to have we have to have the approval of DEC. We have to have the approval from the, the grantees, the, the grant. Well, you, the sewer's coming whether you have the approval or not, so. What's that? The sewer is uh, coming. Uh, we, we are well, well aware of, of, of that, and, and the capacity and the flow are really being watched, especially, you know, I'm expecting to see, like, a little bit, you know, we'll have higher coming in because of the storms, because of the rain. Every time it rains, the capacity jumps up. So, I mean, there's, there's, definitely, there's definitely a lot to watch, and there's several parts to the longevity improvements that they're gonna be doing there. And we are still investigating, partnering with um, another community to have the, the sewage go towards uh, something in a community that would discharge into a different river, not Ramapo, but maybe the Hudson River or somewhere, some mm -hmm. other way so that it's not a drinking water source. And the um, total devolved solids and also the sodium levels, you don't have to, they're not as pertinent as it is in the Ramapo okay. with it being a drinking water source south of here. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Thanks, Lori. You're welcome. All right, um, anybody else from the public like to step up to the podium? Yes, okay. Hunter, um, the taxes that go towards Woodbury Public Library are $66.94 per capita, which means per person in your house. Three people would be times three. But your taxes, $66.94, goes towards the library. Thank you. 
Thank you. Okay. Anyone else? Okay, with that, um, we'll move on to board member comments and department head comments. So uh, start with Councilman Finnegan. Um, I would just like to thank everyone that came out tonight and spoke their case on all these different issues. And I uh, trust that we will be sitting down as a board to try to rectify all these things that have came up. And I thank you for your time. Thank you. Okay. Councilwoman Luciani. Just like Tim, I would really like to thank everybody for coming out tonight. Um, I really want to thank the Eagle Scout for coming out tonight and showing us his project. Um, I have a few things that I need to bring up. One is October 16th, we are having, the We Are Woodbury is doing kickball for a cause again for Tunnel to Towers. Um, so all the proceeds go to that. So if anybody's interested, it's at 10 in the morning, $20 a person, and we take all the money together and we donate it. Um, and then Reese Across America, Lisa is going around. She will be at Sacred Heart 15 minutes before each and every mass. And this is for, you know, Reese Across America for the Cemetery of the Highlands. She did it last year. We had over 900 Reese, which was beautiful. Um, it was on Saturday. It was December 17th at 12 p.m. And they came out. They had a whole ceremony. Everybody got to take a wreath, and you laid it on each veteran's, you know, grave, and you said their name, and you thanked them for their service. And the point is that, you know, when their family is gone and nobody's there to be able to remember them, that we will always, you know, remember them. So I think it's a beautiful thing that we can all do together as a community. So if you can, I think it's $15 a wreath, and then they have bundle prices and things. So if we could just get out there and be able to support our veterans once again, I'd appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, I just want to thank everybody for coming out tonight, too. And I want to thank Neil Krause again. He's donated so much of his time to this town, village, everything, and uh, he's greatly appreciated. And that's it. And Desiree? I just want to announce that on Halloween night, which in case you didn't know is October 31st, uh, is the Chamber's Trunk Retreat. This year it will be at the Central Valley Elementary School. Uh, we're not sure exactly which parking lot yet, but You'll see somebody setting up if you get there. You're welcome to come if you want to bring your car and set up a trunk and hand out candy. Uh, you, there's no cost to it. It's free to everybody to participate. You don't even have to do the trunk if you don't want to. You can just come with your children or as an adult in a costume and get some candy. Uh, if you do plan on bringing a trunk, I think you should plan for about 800 children because that's how many pieces of candy we gave out last year. Uh, there will be a food truck there as well, so if you want your kids to run around and go get something to eat while they're doing that, a little date night, that's great. It'll be safe. It'll be cornered off by the fire department and the police department is usually there helping as well as well as the ambulance and it's a great time to come out and local businesses will have their trunks out handing out candy. Okay. Um, attorney Joe McKay, would you have anything tonight to add? <laughs> okay, I just want to also thank everyone. It was great to see uh, new faces here tonight. Um, look forward to seeing you again, hopefully. Um, and again, a special uh, acknowledgement to Neil Krause. Um, he's just been here for, it seems like he's been here forever, as we all know, and, and uh, his commitment to this community is uh, second to none, so I'm glad we were able to do something for him tonight. And. Um, that's it for right now. I'm gonna, um, at this time, I'll take a motion and a second to adjourn and then go into a police commission meeting. meeting. I'll make a motion. Second. Okay, all in favor? Aye. 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 All right, thank you everyone. Good night.
motion to go to Got executive nice. session. Yeah, we got them. All right, so Tim, all right, we'll take care of that. And go into executive session. Aye. 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 That's it. And then just let me know what time you're adjourning the executive session.